Shortly after UFC 5 was released, a Twitch streamer named Swaggy Dr. Kush decided to challenge Game Changers to a fight. If you want the smoke at any time, at any point in time, I will hand out these paws for free. That goes for all the Game Changers that I will be talking shit about all week. That goes for Romero. We both have wrestling experience. I'd love to put on a singlet and double leg him to the Shadow Realm. That me in a park, I don't care. I don't care. Just know it's going on my YouTube when I leave you unconscious. That's it. That's it. That's all I wanted to get across. One of the game changers, Anthony Romero, a wrestler, accepted the challenge. And so the match was set. It was set for January 29th of 2024. New date, same goal, January 29th, live on Twitch, I humble at Romero XVII once and for all. He was very confident in his ability to win because he kept going. Five more days till that ass whooping at Romero. P.S. No blood time in this match. Why Romero always bleeding? Why he always bleeding? This is the second match we watched where Romero's bleeding. There ain't no way a man bleeds that much. Three days till I smash y'all's favorite game changer at Romero. Romero makes this kid look like an absolute clown right here. Ready? See, look at that. Could never be me. Could never be me. But, but that, that's crazy. That's fucking nuts. And for Romero, the goal was simple. Six to seven minutes of gassing him out with takedowns, and then you submit him with a mounted Google platter. Well, the match happened, and in this video, we're gonna react to it. Alrighty, here we go. They slap up. Oh my goodness, snaps him down immediately. So this is Romero versus Swaggy. And the biggest thing, he's got a single leg right there, jacks him up and slams him. My God, it is already, it is already brutal. So the biggest thing you guys are gonna notice when you watch Romero grapple is he's got a very, very good style of grappling for MMA. Oh, that was a brutal slam right there. See the way he's able to move so quickly. It's very explosive. He doesn't waste a lot of time with his movements. He's very efficient with what he does. It's very good because he wants to become an MMA fighter um, at some point, and he's building his grappling style to be very, very good for MMA. Because when strikes are involved, you definitely don't have a lot of time to... Right there, he shucks him by turtle when strikes are involved you, you're not really gonna have a lot of time to slowly and methodically set up every single thing you do you definitely want to be able to take advantage of split openings and move uh move very very efficiently and quickly right there swaggy's gonna stand back up snaps him down slide by goes to lift him just 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 like like someone who's never trained, bro. Look at that. Back flat. The absolute worst position you can find yourself in, in, in grappling. And see, this is where knowing some jujitsu would have really, really helped out Swaggy. Because there is no need to constantly stand up over and over again and get tossed over and over again by a better wrestler. If he would have known some jujitsu, as you can see right there, he, he has no, no, no jujitsu skill. There is no knee and elbow connection. He's not shrimping properly. His whole entire body positioning is just completely off. Um, so he's easy. To, his guard is very easy to pass. And so he's having to stand up over and over and over again. And Romero is just taking him down over and over again. Hitting highlight reel after highlight reel. <laughs> yes. That was sick. And see all all of that pushing on the back of the head. This is little things that you guys, unless you've experienced it, knee tap into a slap. Boom. Oh, oh my God. I love how he chained the knee tap into the body lock and slammed him right there. That's beautiful. But these are little things that unless you experience it, man, all this dragging, all this. It's he's doing it as a way to exhaust him. It's little things that unless you experience it, if you're just watching it, you don't understand how easily that can exhaust you. Even just like leaning his body weight on him, dragging him back down, constantly putting him in multiple different positions. This is if you know jujitsu, this sort of being ragdolled like this, magic stick to the back. Are you kidding me? Beautiful. And he's breathing super heavy. You can hear him like breathing. Right there, just getting ragged Oh my god, he has no guard. Easily passes the neon belly, mounts him. 
at this point, he could have submitted him with whatever he wanted, but uh, he wanted to get him with a mounted Gogo Plata, which is quite the ambitious submission to call. But hey, that's Romero. And he's going to let him stand back up again. All of this, he tries to stand back up. He pushes his head down. Very exhausting. Very, very exhausting. Now, mind you, this is a guy with actual double leg. He's going to lift him. Boom! Woo! Oh, my God. It is a maulin. It is a maulin. Again, this is, this is a guy with actual wrestling experience. Swaggy's been in the wrestling room more than a few times. The man knows how to wrestle, and this is happening to him. It just shows you that there are levels to this thing, man. I've, I've, I've grappled with Romero. I know how strong the man is. I know how good the man is. He's, he's, he's very talented. And I, I knew this would happen. Look at that quick guard pass. Again, MMA style. This is the sort of grappling that you need to have if you're going to be going into MMA. You want to be able to take advantage of very split opportunities. Very athletic. Very, very explosive. Move very well. He's going to let him up again. Keeps using his head to pin him. Woo! Oh my god. Sla snaps him back down again. As he's getting up, he's pulling on the head. Slide by. He keeps ending up in turtle. And he is just absolutely exhausted. Just dragging him all over the place. This man is done. At this point, the match is already over. It's already done. Oh, a duck under. It looked like his opponent was going to go for a guillotine, but there's nothing there. There's nothing there. The speed of the movements is absolutely incredible. For someone like Romero, man, you're going to have to be able to slide by. Oh! Oh! <laughs> And you can tell he just felt bad for him. Uh, a little bit sloppy in the go go plata, but right there, right there. He could have subbed him with whatever he wanted at that point. He was too tired. He was too gassed. He was too gassed. And this looked brutal. It looked absolutely brutal. But trust me when I tell you guys, this is not the worst thing that could have happened. Like, it could have been so much worse. And Romero was actually being nice. He really was. He wasn't taking it easy, you know what I mean? But he wasn't trying to kill the guy either. He wasn't trying to kill the guy. But he had to he had to make a statement, and he did. He absolutely did. It's very important to feel this, you know? One of the reasons why it's good to try to train is you need to experience this. I've I've experienced something like this, bro. It's very it's very good to get your ass whooped. It builds character and it gives you perspective. It really does. So, whoo! Gnarly, man. Gnarly. Now, it's very important that we end on a positive note because even though there was a lot of trash talking leading up to this, it's very difficult for me not to respect a man who actually goes out there and tries to put his money where his mouth is, right? It's not a very common thing that we see these days. You know, he went out there, he tried to back up what he was saying, it didn't work out. And that's okay, it's normal. If you spend a lot of time in gyms and if you train, you're gonna find that a lot of times you're the nail. Very, it, only few times that you actually find yourself as the hammer unless you're the greatest person in the room, you know what I mean? But he went out there, he tried his best and uh, it's very, very commendable and it's very respectable. Um, in the end, they grabbed a bite, they did an interview together, I believe, that will be dropping very shortly. And Romero uh, invited him to a jiu-jitsu class, and he actually went, which I definitely will encourage that man to keep training jiu-jitsu. I understand he's got some wrestling experience, but if you are in there with someone who's a better wrestler than you, and you don't have jiu-jitsu in any way, shape, or form, you are pretty much at their mercy. There's nothing else that you can do because they'll just keep taking you down over and over and over again. So I think for someone who already has wrestling experience, getting into jiu-jitsu should not be the most complicated thing in the world. Uh, if you can afford it, definitely keep training. I think it's really, really going to help you out. So I'm going to leave it at that. Once again, major props to Swaggy Dr. Kush for going out there, getting on the bus, going to, going to New York, uh, competing with Romero, and uh, taking his ass whooping uh like a man i i respect that a ton so kudos to you brother much respect all right i will leave it at that 
If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like on it. I will leave Romero's YouTube channel below. I'm also going to leave Swaggy, Dr. Kush's Twitch um, channel below if you guys want to go uh, uh, follow him. I don't know how it works on Twitch, but if you want to go follow him, definitely go do that. And uh, I will leave it at that. Thank you for watching. You guys are amazing. See you guys later. Peace out.